concrete is in fact the most used building material today and it's the main thing our generation is going to leave behind for new generations is massive amounts of concrete. I was inspired by learning that the production of Portland cement, which is the main cementing component of concrete, produces about a ton of carbon dioxide for every ton of cement produced. We're studying how evolutionary structures are adapted to the environment. So for example, if we look at an organism like the corals that build reefs, there's a natural interaction between CO2, which is a gas, and water. And they come into equilibrium together and the CO2 is dissolved in water. In building reefs, corals have developed an incredible ability to calcify. They're the most prolific mineralizers on the planet. But I realized right away that I could form a cement that didn't produce carbon dioxide. In fact, would use carbon dioxide as a raw material, just like corals do. In biomimicking what corals do, what we're really trying to mimic in some cases is how they can mineralize so rapidly and so prolifically to make the largest biologic structures on the planet, like the Great Barrier Reef. We have this beautiful market for concrete that is just perfect for introducing this technology today and solving the concrete industry's carbon problem at the same time. In a way, you could think of it having two advantages. One was to mitigate the CO2 coming from coal plants and in parallel, offset the carbon that would have been produced by the production of Portland cement. By being able to produce a product that is needed year in and year out from the exhaust coming from a coal plant is a huge win for the planet.